What is up, Ninja Nation? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's filthiest pitches of the day. We have some mind-blowing filth for you today. But before we get into it, hit the subscribe button, join the fastest growing pitching community on YouTube. You're not going to want to miss out. So hit subscribe, and now here is your daily filth. I'm going to start with Alex Cobb, who had 10 Ks in five innings. Look at the movement on his splitter. You can see why. Cobb's velo has bumped up this year, and that just helps everything be more effective. Not to be outdone, Jesus Lizardo, the Jesus Lizard, had 12 Ks in five innings on only 76 pitches. Since they started counting pitches in 1988, this is the fewest number of pitches that any pitcher has struck out 12 in other than Chris Sale. Lizardo had an amazing 92% whiff rate on his curveball slash slider in this game. That's crazy. Nestor Cortez pitched yesterday. I love his mustache. And he was up to 94 miles an hour and was his usual nasty self. Speaking of nasty, Patrick Sandoval had these wicked change-ups and nasty sliders and was really surprised by whatever finger Max Stassi put down here. Rich Hill, a.k.a. Dick Mountain, didn't pitch that great yesterday, but he did break wood with a 69-mile-an-hour curveball. And when Dick Mountain throws 69, well, it's going to be on my list. Tyler McGill, a.k.a. Siler McGoat, was again thrown in the upper 90s and had this wicked change up to Bryce Harper to catch him looking. Edwin Diaz closed out this game with some filthy, filthy sliders. Cue the trumpets. Liam Hendricks struggled a little bit in relief, but hit 99 miles an hour and got this sword and then went nuts. And when Liam goes nuts, he's going to be here too. Clay Holmes and his sinker were outstanding. Look at this sinker with 19 inches of run. That is not hittable. While we're talking about unhittable, look at this overlay of Araldis Chapman's 102 mile an hour fastball and 91 mile an hour splitter. The splitter, because of its lower spin rate, dives off the plane of the fastball and misses bats. It's just impossible to hit. Jordan Hicks, the filth machine, did not hit 102 or 103 yesterday, but check out these disgusting sliders. Devin Williams and his airbender made an appearance, and it's a great view of the spin of that airbender. It is definitely the filthiest changeup maybe ever in baseball. Aaron Bummer had this wicked slider with 21 inches of horizontal break. That is not fair. The best K strut from yesterday came from Camden Manassi of Wake Forest. He won the 2021 Pitching Ninja Award for College K strut, and he's well on his way this year. This one kind of looks like he got stung by a flock of bees or whatever you call a group of bees. Filthiest pitch yesterday was this slider from Ethan Roberts. It had 22 or 24 inches of break, depending on which pitch measurement system you use, and it's just ridiculous. Here it is overlaid with his fastball. You can really see how crazy that slider movement is. But the pitcher that broke the internet yesterday, having some of the filthiest stuff you will ever see in your life, and I'm not exaggerating, is Matt Brash. I mean, just look at this sorcery. These pitches, I don't know how many swords he got yesterday, but I'm going to dub him Sir Matthew because he just collects swords. He has so many swords, he needs to be a knight. This is utterly insane stuff. It reminds me of a prime carry wood. Here are a few overlays that show just how nasty this stuff is. I mean, look at this, a 99 mile an hour fastball and 85 mile an hour slider. I don't know what you do as a hitter. His fastball was running up to 20 inches arm side and his slider was breaking like 20 inches the other way. All hail Sir Matthew Brash, slayer of hitters, first of his name. Now on to Pitching Ninja's moment of zen. D. Strange Gordon came in to pitch yesterday and, well, he killed Travis Darnot. You can see the moment Darnot's soul exited his body. And as an extra bonus, here's Matt Brash's slider grip. I call it hooking my middle finger on the seam. So I hook on the seam here and then I create a little space in here and then tuck my bottom fingers underneath. Um, and then all the pressure is right here on my middle finger and that's how I get that really good side spin and that uh, really good sweep and so the arm action on my slider is pretty much the exact same as my fastball. I don't try to sweep the ball or create more spin. I'm throwing it 
as hard as I can, as hard as my fastball, and I kind of just let the grip uh, do its thing. And I think that's why um, I get a lot of deception and swings and misses on it.